Karkota Empire was a Kashmir-centered medieval kingdom which was founded by Durlab Vardhana during the lifetime of Harsha Vardhan. This kingdom marked the rise of Kashmir as a power in Central and South Asia. Durlab Vardhana had a long reign. After him came his son named Durlaba Harka, who had a long reign as well. But the Karkota Empire reached its peak under the grandson of Durlaba Harka, Lalita Ditya Muktapade. He was later able to create an empire based on Kashmir and covering most of northern India and Central Asia including most parts of Pakistan, Afghanistan, Bactria and Sofdiana. Lalita Ditya Muktapade was able to extend the power of Kashmir beyond the normal mountain limits and in about 740 AD inflicted a defeat upon Yasivarman, the king of Kanayu. Lalita Ditya was able to vanquish the Turks, Tibetans, Bhushas, Cambodges and others. The mart and complex of temples in the Anantnag district of today's Kashmir perpetuate the memory of King Lalita Ditya. These details are described in the Raj Tanagini of Kalhana. After Lalita Ditya we know about two more important kings of Kashmir named Avanatavarmana and Shankarvarman. But after death of Lalita Ditya many territories declared their independence. The campaigns against these newly independent kings were stopped in Avantavalman's time but again started by his son and successor Shankarvarman. He made Kashmir strong politically and economically. Kabul as well Kashmir was completely Hindu kingdoms during those times. Religion The Karkota emperors were primarily Hindu. They built spectacular Hindu temples in their capital Parihaspa. They however also allowed Buddhism to flourish under them. Stupa, Chaitya and Vihara can be found in the ruins of their capital. They built Martin Temple, the oldest known sun temple in India. It was also the biggest temple complex till that time.